So I've suffered with anxiety and depression since I was in grade nine. And um, it was really hard. <laughs> I had to drop out of school and out of dance classes and out of all my music, which was uh, crazy for me because performing is everything I do. I had a psychologist tell me that I would never be able to perform or move because my anxiety was too extreme. It made me angry at God because I was like, why did you give me these gifts and not allow me to be able to use them? So I found C3 about a year ago, thanks to Misha, and we were actually on set together and randomly started talking about church and she brought me out. And I think since that day, my life has changed for the better. Everything was just kind of good in my life. And so I started going off my medication and symptoms started coming back. It was weird because it didn't feel like it was a part of who I was. I decided to bring myself to a hospital and they uh, checked me into the mental health facility there. It was the darkest place I've ever been in my life. I really couldn't see any hope, which was completely different than how I actually felt. So I knew it was something different, like it was like a clinical thing or something that was, that was wrong mentally. In there, I never felt so close to God. He really showed himself to me in a different way. It kind of spoke to me, um, and I wrote a bunch of verses in this book, and I went through the Psalms and like wrote down everything that was really inspiring to me. My parents brought my piano into the hospital so I could play to just kind of take up time throughout my day. And I would have a bunch of people wait outside my door and just listen to me playing worship music. And they would like comment on it and they were like, that's so beautiful and that's so inspiring. And they actually got me uh, one of the days to pray for them. So I sat on a bunch of people's beds for um, a couple hours and just prayed for everybody, which was an amazing moment, how God just took a hospital room and turned it into a prayer room. It's just like little things like that that had happened through the time when I was in the hospital and recovering once I got out of the hospital where God just constantly showed his faithfulness and showed me that he was there by my side. 